am participating in Heidi Songmo's Red, White, and Blue theme DIY challenge. Her rules are for us to create one or more DIYs using red, white, or blue. It doesn't have to be a 4th of July theme, but you just incorporate red, white, or blue in your DIY, um, in your decor. So I am super excited about this challenge. Heidi, thank you so much for inviting me. I appreciate it. You know I love you so much. I'm going to link Heidi's channel down below in the description box, as well as the playlist of some amazing, talented ladies that are going to be taking part in this challenge. So make sure that you go ahead and check out Heidi's um, channel, her DIY channel, Heidi Samuel DIY, and also check out the playlist of all the ladies that are participating. So for my challenge, I normally don't decorate with reds unless it's Christmas time. So I don't have a lot of red decor and being that where I'm living, you know, where I'm living, I live in New York and so my stores are still kind of closed down. Um, we do have our Dollar Tree and things like that that is open, but I try to stay away from the stores as much as possible. So I really did not go out and spend any money. I didn't buy anything. I don't have anything that is red, like I said. So I am going to just decorate with blue and white. So today I am going to be doing a no sew hot glue pillow covering. Uh, I have about six pillows that I need to cover and I do have the fabrics that I'm going to be using. Also, I'm going to be doing a DIY tablescape. So hopefully that fits in the realm of DIYs. I do love doing um, DIYs and you know, doing these challenges. So stay tuned to the video as we jump into my blue and white theme tablescape. Okay guys, this is all of the things that I'm going to be using for my tablescape. I'm going to add some greenery in there because that is kind of what I'm going for in my home for the summer. Some blues and greens and copper. I also did find some stemware that have some red in it. So there goes that little dash of red um, and some copper. So let's get started on this tablescape. So before we continue, I wanted to talk to you guys about my Christmas in July challenge. This is going to be an entire month of Christmas videos with two videos per week. And I just wanted to start this. It's my first time doing anything like this and I am super excited about it. Um, we are going to be doing cleaning videos and home decor and you know, all that good stuff. So if you do want to participate in it, just comment down below and let me know and I will definitely give you guys more details about it coming up in the next um, few episodes on my channel. So be sure to subscribe so that you won't miss any information that is coming up about my Christmas in July series. I've been waiting all my life for someone like you. blue and white tablescape is looking like. I did go ahead and I found these red chargers. I totally forgot that I had these red chargers. Um, and I just paired them with some silver chargers that I have. I These plates that I have, I did thrift them and they are completely different. Um, they t each tell a different story. So that's what I love about them. I love the way that this tablescape turned out i think i achieved the red blue and white 
theme um though i know it's not a craft it is my diy tablescape and i think it turned out beautiful and i cannot wait to eat breakfast uh around the table with my family it is beautiful and just i, I can't wait to to use it so i am so excited about this tablescape for summer taking just a template the size template from this one I actually DIY this one for um, for spring I DIY this one and a couple of others for spring and they really held up really really well so I figured instead of going ahead and sewing which I do have a sewing machine but it's just the easiest way especially when you have kids and it's the last week of school and trying to get everything together excuse me trying to get everything together, making sure that all their assignments is turned in on time. Um, this is just the easiest and simplest way for me to go. So I am going to be going ahead and using these fabrics. I actually got these, these are actually curtains. They're Target curtains and I got them at a thrift store. Um, the original prices were $30 and I got them for um, $8.99 a piece. And they're kind of like a linen fabric. So I figured that it will hold up really, really well with my kids um, since we do use our family room 24-7. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these pieces to size. Also, this piece I got, it was actually, I bought it from Marshalls. It came with the, the pillow insert and the zipper is now broken, so I am definitely going to have to re-sew it but I'm also going to be taking the template for this one as well for a few of the pillows so I have my blue and white theme I have my scissors here ready I do have a blue and white gingham that I'm going to be using to tie and complete my pillows I also have some glue sticks on hand and my handy dandy glue gun so let's get crafty as Heidi always says. <laughs> so let's get into making these pillows. Okay guys, so I sped this part up a little bit because I'm just going to be cutting the fabric. So I'm cutting the fabric to the size of the pillows that I need. Um, and I'm only going to show you uh, one of the pillows that I'm going to be making because it would have taken an entire day <laughs> this video will be extremely long so um, I went ahead and I cut it I I went ahead and I cut out six pieces of um, the fabric for the pillows and right here I am just going to be cutting this one out because this particular one um, is the one that I'm going to be using for the pillow itself just to show you guys give you give you an idea as to what I am going to be doing so I'm just going ahead and hot gluing um, the fabric kind of turning over um, to make seams because that's this area is where I'm going to be placing my gingham ribbon so that I can go ahead and tie it and guys it turned out so gorgeous I mean better than I could have even expected it and I just love the way that it looks um, I am going to be doing a house tour pretty soon so definitely definitely stay tuned for that I am so excited and just just elated as to how it turned out my heart starts racing but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around it's a shame that my hands start shaking Waiting 
end result you guys oh my goodness it looks so gorgeous i am so impressed i it, i typically don't get impressed that that often but i am extremely impressed with the way that this turned out it just looks amazing that's my daughter nyla throwing her cup it just looks amazing i love it so much the colors are just so right for summertime and it's just it's just gorgeous and it looks absolutely beautiful in my living room space so because i had some extra fabric i just wanted to go ahead and make um like a throw uh a decorative throw and place it on my blanket ladder it's not going to be um functional it's just going to be purely for decorations so i just went ahead and utilized the extra fabrics um and place it on my blanket ladder and this is the way that it looks you guys i'm so excited about it so here I am just placing it um, on the blanket ladder and I'm also going to be pairing it with a white um, blanket and it just, it looks absolutely beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell twice so that you will receive all my notifications. Don't forget to check out Heidi's channel in the description box down below and also the playlist. Stay tuned as well for my Christmas in July series. I am so excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.